Alrighty, people. So anybody planning on taking the AP test online, uh, you know, in May here or June, uh, this video is to help you guys potentially alleviate some of the anxiety, give you a game plan on how to submit your answer, uh, as well as, um, you know, some, some good little tips to save you time. So um, they have this thing up that's basically a, an AP demo on how you can practice submitting your answers and all that stuff. Um, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm on ap2020examdemo.collegeboard.org. You can, you know, just type that into a web browser. Um, and my recommendation for, especially for math people, uh, I teach AP Calculus, uh, for people taking the test, I would recommend that you have three things available to you. So what I have right now is I have my, uh, my AP website up where I would be taking the test on test day. Uh, I've got my Google Drive up as well on, in another tab. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to take the test. Um, uh, excuse me, I'm going to get this test started on my web browser here. I'm going to take the test on paper. I'm going to take a picture of, of that with my phone and then upload it to the Google Drive. So once it pops up here in the Google Drive, I'll download it to my desktop and then quickly be able to upload it. Uh, into the uh, AP exam demo. So um, before you even start, like I would do this the day before the test, go ahead and, and I, I put this in a Google Doc, but I'll show you what my paper looks like here in a second. Um, get your scratch paper ready for the test that you're going to submit. So uh, you want on your AP paper, I wouldn't actually write your AP paper, uh, you want your AP ID, uh, it should be, I think it's eight digits, so I just put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, you want to have your initials nearby that and if you're using multiple pages you know label what pages so this you know this could be page one on the next page i need my apid my initials page two and if i had a page three again that would be uh, there so if you're someone that uses a lot of paper um you know have a few pages ready if you're someone that doesn't it'd still be a good idea to have two and the worst thing that, that happens is you don't use the second page. So, and you need to do this for each exam question. So, you know, the, the AP Calculus one I know has two questions. I think most of them have two questions. Um, so I would have a page one and a page two with your exam um, initials for, for the first question and then repeat that process also for the second question. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and go to the, again, this ap2020examdemo.collegeboard.org. I would recommend going through this uh, so you can get used to this. And I'm gonna type in my exam ID here. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and this this actually may, uh, your AP would do, yeah, okay. All right, so I'm gonna hit continue. All right, so it says your exam has started. Now, I would log in uh, much earlier than the actual. Don't don't try to log in when the test is starting, or you're going to end up wasting your time. So I'm going to start typing this in here. Like you should be in. You can log in like 30 minutes early. I would log in right away and just wait for that timer to tick down so nothing crazy happens um, while you're doing this here. Yep, I spent my birthday in quarantine, guys. Um, and we'll do email address. And where are you taking the test from? So I'm taking this at home. You guys are probably taking it at home too. Uh, I hit accept and I'm gonna agree to the terms and conditions that I will not read because I'm sure it's a 40 page long document. And here we go. So, all right, so we'll hit continue now. Um, Let's see here. So it says time left to submit work. So it says on exam day, your question begins here. So I, I didn't, I already submitted question one. You'll see, sometimes it makes you wait to start. Uh, I'll have to do question two. Uh, so what I'm going to do is pause the video here and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna work this out on my phone. So let's say I work through my question. I'm going through everything. Uh, I'm now gonna show you how on the phone side, to take a picture of your work and um, upload this into Google Drive so then I can quickly switch back to the computer and go from there. Okay guys, so in front of me, this is the paper that I should have filled out before ever starting the test. Uh, again, it's, uh, you want your AP ID up here, you want your initials, and you want the page number as well on your, um, on your paper. So obviously at this point you'd be frantically scratching things down. Um, 
So, you know, I could put like maybe for part A, I've got this. You want to make sure this is on white paper. Um, uh, and you want to be make sure you're using like a, you know, some sort of legible pencil or pen like that's dark colored on a white surface. Uh, make sure that your pictures are, are looking good. So once I'm finished, so again, you, they want you, they recommend that you do this when there's five minutes left. I would time yourself um, and, and leave yourself obviously a little bit of extra time just to make sure you get your submission in. Um, so what I am going to do now is I am going to take my phone here and I'm going to take a picture of my work. Make sure again you get the whole picture in there. Make sure it's legible. And I'm just going to put this down here. So now what I'll do, let's see if we can get a better view here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to now share this to my Google Drive. So if I click here and I go to save to drive and I click save, um, that'll, that'll kind of get me in the right direction here. So now this is saved on my drive. I'm now going to go back to my computer that has Google Drive open and I can quickly sort of transfer this over uh, to download it and upload it. So I'm going to do that next. Okay guys, so I'm back now in my Google Drive um, and you should see here that this picture that I had popped up and there it is. That should be the photo that I took earlier. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to download this photo. So if I click in the upper right hand corner, I can click download. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a save as now. So I'll click uh, download and it should have a little pop up here. You guys won't see this window pop up because of the recording uh, thing that I'm using. But if I click this little arrow, there should be like an option to show in folder. If you click the show in folder uh, option, it'll pop that up and you can just like pull that right out to your desktop. So you just cut, cut and paste it out to your desktop. So um, I have now done that. So I now have this photo in a place it's easy to find. So I'm gonna move over now to the exam, which uh, popped up there a little bit weirdly, but okay. Um, just one thing to note is that the photos that are accepted uh, are all listed when you guys, um, you know, when you guys go to this AP exam demo, it'll list out the three different file types that are okay. Um, check that your phones are accepted. Some of the newer iPhones do not have the right format, so you're going to have to go in and change some of the settings to make it like a JPEG or something when you take the picture. Um, so finally, what I'm going to do is I am now going to go to attach response here at the bottom of the screen. So I'll click that. Hopefully this shows up for you. It may not because of some of the window options. But uh, if we click attach photos, since we took a picture, uh, again, it'll give you some different options here or different things to keep in mind when you're doing that. Uh, I'm going to click attach a photo. And when I go and find my photo here, uh, I should be able to locate it Get, and make sure you know what folder this is going to so you can quickly find this. Uh, you know, you don't want to have the stress of taking the AP test and all that stuff uh, in there. So then I'm, once I have that, I'm just going to click submit. You may not have seen that window pop up on my on your screen, but uh, you'll see it on yours. Click submit. And then once we do that, there it is. So now at this point, it says question one's complete. All we have to do is wait for question two to begin. Um, so that kind of everybody's taking it at the same time. Again, you can look through some of these different things as you're doing that. Um, and, and hopefully this was helpful. Um, if you have any more questions, guys, let me know. Uh, and I'll, I'll try to see if I can figure them out. Um, but uh, hopefully this alleviates some of your text anxiety. So again, the idea here is we're filling out a piece of paper with all of our scratch work important information, like our API ID, our initials, and page numbers if we're going to use more than one page. Better to have you know an extra page and not use it than, and, than be sorry and have to try to do it in the middle. Uh, once we do that, we're going to go through and work through the question. When there's about five minutes left, you're going to take a picture of that, save it to your Google Drive, which is also open on your laptop already, and then if you download it from your Google Drive, you can quickly upload it into the AP demo. Again, this website, if you guys look up here, I'll highlight it in the upper left-hand corner is ap2020examdemo.collegeboard.org. And that will be um, the place that you can go to try out exactly what I'm doing here. Time yourself, see how long it takes, get comfortable with it so you're not worried about this and stressing over it during the actual test. Good luck, guys.